Hey guys, so a while ago I made this video uh, looking at five different fixes that you can try to stop black screen happening on uh, iMovie. So it had been a big issue for me for a long time, but I figured out what's causing it. So the reason you get black screen on iMovie is because um, what's happening is when you import certain videos, they are a slightly different format to what iMovie uses. This um, means that it has to render. I don't know if you remember back in the day, you used to get a little render bar um, on iMovie. You have to be pretty old like me to remember that. Um, and so what's happening is when you're you're hovering over those, um, those images that are going black, it's because they've been imported in a way where they are not rendered and iMovie just blanks them out until it's ready to show them. So. What we're going to do is have a quick look at different ways that you can fix this. So we can go on to iMovie. Okay. And then, so first things first is one of the tempting things to do in iMovie, because you can, is to open your finder and drag and drop um, your, your videos in like so. It's very quick and easy, and it's quite easy to find it. But I do find that this causes an issue. And I find one of the easiest ways to stop it is by importing using the proper import um, method. So you press that button and then you search it through here. And I find the easiest way to do it is to create it and then just find it like this or make sure you've got a decent naming system for your, your things. And just import one or two at a time um, and then you're done. Um, another issue that might cause it is if you're using, uh, you've got an iMovie library here. So you can see I'm doing an ad here. Um, you can go see on our channel if you want. Um, and I've got different clips from, from uh, bits that I've imported into here. But one of the issues I was having is I was going to kind of old ads and grabbing a bit of footage and putting that in. And I think that sometimes causes issues. The other thing to remember is that your iMovie library is all live. So it's not pulling it from your, your um, you know, your movies or something here. It's actually, if you go into this, you've actually got an iMovie library. And that is, um, that has got all of your stuff that you've already got in here over and over again. Um, so when you've got your iMovie open, you're using up a lot of RAM and what have you um, in order to do that. So it's, uh, it's taking up a lot of space. Uh, and a lot of uh, computer power, which is probably why you're causing a black screen. So that is the easiest fix, is to make sure that when you're <coughs> importing video, you're importing it via the import, and that should convert it into a more iMovie-friendly format. Um, you might find that you have more issues when you're importing um, footage off a, like a proper camera, um, and other other formats really okay so hopefully that'll help if um you like what you see here make sure you subscribe to us um and go and check out our uh, channel uh, for more help with um building online businesses and what you can do is you we can find are out unlikely candidate. a little bit more about how we we've built a business around spending more time outdoors with our kids and you can go to this link to get some free workshops they're going to show you exactly how to monetize your YouTube channel um, and the activities that you love doing. Okay, so we shall see you when we see you.